Hello everyone. Uh, metal ion electrode uh, already I have explained in my previous video. That is part two. And now we will see about this ion selective electrode. So selectively, uh, selectively bind one type of ion to a membrane to generate an electric potential. That is you can say also glass electrode. So other indicator electrodes are like uh, queen hydron electrode and antimony electrode. Glass electrode, it is the most sensitive hydrogen ion responsive indicator electrode. The glass bulb uh, is immersed in test solution and the electrical circuit is completed by filling the bulb uh, with solution of 0.1 molar HCl and inserting a, uh, a silver silver chloride electrode or SE with the scale by electrode. The internal HCl solution is uh, HCl solution hydrochloric acid solution is maintained at constant concentration the potential of the, the silver silver chloride electrode inserted into it will be constant and so two will be the potential between hcl and the inner surface of the glass bulb hence the only potential which can vary uh, is the potential between outer surface of the glass bulb and the test solution in which it is immersed Thus, the overall potential of the electrode is governed by uh, this uh, hydrogen ion uh, concentration of the test solution. So you can see the glass electrode here where we have a lead to the pH, this uh, to pH meter, this positive and negative wire are there, the air inlet is there and then we have a liquid level of outer reference electrode and liquid level of inner uh, reference electrode. Then silver wire is there. Then uh, we have a aqueous filling solution uh, saturated with uh, AgCl and KCl. Then this silver chloride paste suspended between two sides of uh, folded uh, sil uh, silver wire. Then silver chloride and KCl uh, that is glass membrane is there and at the bottom we have AgCl and Cl solutions. Then 0.1 molar HCl saturated with HCl and porous plug to allow to slow drainage of the electrolyte out of the electron, electrode and solution level of analyte in beaker here you can see in beaker how we have a solution that level to the analyte in the beaker. So these are the components uh, of glass electrodes. So precaution, so we need to take uh, when we are using glass electrodes are uh, like when not in use we need to keep the pH electrode assembly immersed in a buffer solution. For long term storage carefully dry the electrode and place it in a protective container. Uh, then thoroughly wash the electrode with distilled water. After each measurement carefully blow dry. Uh, rinse the electrode with several portions of the test solution before making the final measurement then vigorously stir poorly buffered uh, solutions during measurement otherwise the uh, stagnant layer of the solution at the glass solution interface uh, tends towards the composition of the particular membrane wipe suspensions and colloidal material from the membrane surface with a soft tissue and avoid scratching the delicate membrane Never use glass electrodes uh, in acid fluoride solution because the membrane will be attacked chemically. So some advantage of glass electrodes is like it can be used in the solutions uh, with pH values ranging from 0 to 12 and lithium glass electrode can be employed to the measure pH up to 14. So it is the advantage, one of the most important advantage. It is simple to operate and it can be used in uh, oxidizing reducing solution as well as in a colored turbid or colloidal solutions. In viscous media also you can use in presence of protein and similar substances which is uh, seriously interface with other electrodes. So equilibrium is attained immediately permitting rapid measurements especially in continuously changing the solutions and it does not affect the experimental solution. There is a pH of poorly buffered solution and those having volatile or suspended matter can be measured. So it is most suited for the continuous aromatic record. Some disadvantages are also there in the glass electrode like that, that the bulb is very fragile and has to be used with a greater, great care. 
like uh, it cannot be employed in a purethyl alcohol acidic acid and gelatin and standardization has to be carried out uh, frequently so in solutions of colloids uh, that tend to adhere to the sensitive membrane and a glass electrode may give uh, erroneous results and it cannot be used in uh, acid fluoride solution strongly alkaline solution and at a high temperature like 373 kelvin for a prolonged period thank you